Hi everyone. Shalom. I wanted to just send out a video greeting and bring you up to date on a few things. Several people have contacted me and asked me how my mom is doing. And God has just really worked beautifully. In November of 2014, she fell and was misdiagnosed with three fractures rather than one. Uh, her journey took her from rehab to the hospital. She contracted C. diff where one can expel the lining of their intestines. It's a terrible ailment, and she almost died. And the hospital asked, and we agreed, that she would undergo a fecal transplant where my brother uh, donated his poo-poo, and that was uh, put inside of her through a colonoscopy process, and she lived. And then she went to rehab but languished, and they gave her one week to get serious about getting better, and she finally got the memo. She, her health improved so dramatically, they were shocked and never had seen a recovery like hers in just one week. And so miraculously, and thank you, because of your prayers, she is at home. She's still going through occupational therapy and physical therapy, but I really want to say thank you. God has given her another lease on life, and we're praying that she will come to know her Messiah soon through this journey and the future. Secondly, uh, I am engaged, and this finger, which had previously been bare, now has an engagement ring on, and my fiancé is Jeffrey Seif. He lives in Dallas, and I've known Jeff for over 32 years. I met him right when I first became a believer, about three years after I came to know Messiah. Wasn't interested in him, wasn't interested in anyone at the time. And uh, he said, I threw him under the bus, to quote him. But he went on and met a wonderful woman named Pat, got married, had two wonderful sons. And a few years ago, Pat contracted ovarian cancer. And after a terrible battle, uh, passed on to be with the Lord very early this year. Jeff took her to Hawaii last year when they found out that the diagnosis was not good, that it was fatal. And it was then during a conversation about his remarrying that she told him that he needed to marry Barry Mallon. And um, a conversation between he and I ensued um, after the mourning period in Judaism. And he explained to me the difference between dating and courtship, that he wanted to pursue courtship with me on the way to the end goal marriage. And I was willing and excited I didn't want to let this opportunity with him pass by. So we're getting married the end of October. Some people have inquired, what about your work in Israel? That will go on in God's, God's will. It will flourish. I'll be moving to Dallas, and so our address for our organization work will change, Dallas, Texas, or DeSoto, Texas, or the general vicinity. But the work will continue and grow, God willing, because we desire to serve God's people in God's land. And it is an ultimate call to know where God is leading. And so even though the location will change, the work will continue and grow. And there's already a great work going on in Atlanta, so I'm very excited to pioneer in a new city and go together forward with Jeff in... Um, pursuing God with both of us. Uh, he's a congregational leader for Prince of Peace, our Shalom Messianic congregation. He is a professor, and our lives have paralleled in many ways over these years, but God. And so I covet your prayers and just wanted to conclude in prayer. Abba Father, if the person uh, is listening and has listened to this, I just thank you for them. Please bless them. Thank you for their love and their encouragement, their prayers and their support for our work in Israel. Bless them back for that, Lord. Thank you again for the opportunity to serve you, to be about the Father's business in Israel. Please bless the listener. Give them prospering of health, body, soul, and spirit for your glory, their good, for the betterment of your kingdom. 
Lord, keep us about your business. With joy, B'Shem Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Toda Thank you so much in Hebrew. And Shalom. <laughs>